Veterans Day is just one day, and we need to help our veterans every day. So that's why it's exciting to be here today, to say, in addition to the celebration on that special day, let's work every day to see how we can improve things for these people that made a wonderful sacrifice for all of us. So we've had a comprehensive effort over the last three years to say, we're gonna turn that around. We're gonna go back and do what we should have been doing in the past, but to do it even better. The proposal that I have is I call it Talent in the Three C's. The first C is about our need to collaborate more with the private sector, because that's the demand side of the equation for jobs and for careers. The second C is about creating talent, partnering with our education sector, because that's the supply side of things. And the third C is about connecting those two worlds, connecting supply and demand, connecting the private sector with the education sector, putting them together, and making that really work and come together in a thoughtful way. We actually kicked this off last year. We did an economic development summit followed by an education summit. And we followed a format somewhat like this, where we actually had 10 students participate. We had them come up on stage and tell them tell their stories. And it, was, it struck me in the heart. And anyone that was there also was struck in the heart by the wonderful talent we have in our state and how hard we should be working to make sure they have a career. So we're replicating that here today. Not with just students, but veterans who are continuing their studies and working. And so I think this is just a fabulous opportunity to showcase what a great state we are in terms of the opportunities we have to look at the wonderful people and the skill sets they have to say, we want them to stay in Michigan. We want them to be successful here. We want them to have an opportunity to raise a family in Michigan and to have their kids raise their kids here. And on top of all that is the whole issue, the fact they're veterans. They deserve extra consideration. We should be making that extra effort to help make that connection happen. So that's why it's exciting to be here today. And that's why I want to thank all the employers that are here. I know we've got a number of educational institutions. We've got a lot of good people here that can come talk to that small sample we have right up here, and hopefully we can help find them career opportunities. And we can take that message back to your organizations to say, how do we do it with so many of the other veterans that didn't have the opportunity to be here today? And to recognize we're going to have more veterans coming back to Michigan. I think the estimate's about 10,000 over the next three, or three to five years of veterans returning to Michigan or coming to Michigan. And if anything, we clearly want the people to return to Michigan that were from Michigan, but shouldn't we create that environment where even if someone's not from Michigan, they can say, I want to be in Michigan. That's the state we want to have. That's the state we're making happen now but we can't be complacent nor content about the good things we've done. We need to stay on this path, and we need to stay very diligent to not take our eye off the ball of being successful at creating those three C's for the wonderful people here, all the wonderful people that served our country. See more veteran stories at dptv.org vets. Sponsored by the Masco Corporation Foundation.